I'm not ashamed. What ultimately caused the Samaritans of John 4 to believe in Jesus? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse-by-verse -verse study of the book of John on walking through the Bible. If you have a Bible with you, turn to John chapter 4. We're going to be reading from verses 39 to 45. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So, John chapter 4, beginning of verse 39. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now after two days he departed from there and went to Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that no prophet has honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he did in Jerusalem at the feast, for they also had gone to the feast. In this chapter, we've been discussing Jesus' conversation with the Samaritan woman at the well. She had come to the well for water, but upon a discussion with Jesus determined that he was the one who could give living water that would cause her to never thirst again. That meant that he was the Christ, the Messiah, that even the Samaritans were looking for. What caused this belief? Jesus told her things about herself that only her and someone who was God himself could know, seeing as this woman had never met Jesus before. She ran to the town to tell others about who she had met and told them that they needed to come and see Jesus. To their credit, the Samaritans believed the testimony of the woman and believed in Jesus because of her testimony. It just goes to show you that one person can do much good when it comes to the spreading of the gospel. She wasn't a famous preacher or an educated rabbi. She was a simple woman who merely went to a well for water and met Jesus. Oftentimes today we think that because we're only one person and we're not famous, or we haven't gone to some theological seminary, that we don't have what it takes to teach the gospel. Who did Jesus use? He used fishermen, tax collectors, zealots, and others. He used regular people. Yes, the Apostle Paul was educated, but many of the preachers that we read of in the Bible were simply regular people who learned about Jesus, obeyed the gospel themselves, and went out and spread the good news to others. The church here at East End, as of the publishing of this podcast, is a group of under 50 people in attendance each week, and yet we have an opportunity to reach millions of people with the gospel through this podcast and through our Sunday broadcast. The woman here in John 4 went and told some people about Jesus, and they believed and then came and saw Jesus themselves. They wanted to learn from him so bad, they asked him to stay there with them for two days, which he did. Remember, Jesus was on his way to Galilee in order to escape the likely harassment of the Pharisees, yet because of the faith of these Samaritans, he desired to stay with them to teach them all the more. And because of his stay, many more people believed than originally came the first day. After these few days, the people's faith had grown enough to where now they said to the woman that they believed in Jesus as the Christ, the Savior of the world, not because of her words, but because of what they had heard Jesus say. Some commentators that I read viewed this as a little bit of a put-down of the woman, sort of dismissing her role in the matter. However, I take a different view on that believing that what they meant was that originally their faith was based on the words of the woman, having never heard Jesus, but now their faith was not in the woman, but the words of Jesus himself. When it comes to our faith, it should not be grounded in the actions of another, but in the actions and teachings of Jesus. Sure, what you heard me preach might have been the reason you began to listen to the gospel in the first place, and then obey it. But you need to realize that if you obey Jesus, it is to be the gospel that you're obeying, not my words. And if my words differ from the gospel, it's the gospel that you need to heed, not me. When we put our faith in men and women, we will be disappointed. However, when we put our faith in God, we will never be disappointed. After two days, Jesus departed and went up into Galilee. 
However, he did not go to Nazareth right away because Jesus wouldn't be accepted as a prophet there because he grew up there as the son of a carpenter. And the people there would likely not be able to look past that. And we know from our studies of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, that was exactly the case. Hence why he went to other places in Galilee, places where people would hear him. Some of these people had seen what he had done in Jerusalem during the feast, which would have been the previous Passover in John 2, for they were there. The John refers to this Passover as simply the feast will help us at the beginning of John 5, so keep this in your memory banks for two lessons from now. With that, our time is up for today. The Lord willing, we hope you'll join us for tomorrow's discussion of John chapter 4, verses 46 to 54, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world. Amen.